What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel. So people may have some things I may go share with you. Know? And the first thing I want to start it off with are the firefighter with them charge for a female murder. The one I may share with you know, about the female who got killed and the next female that got injured in Saint Anne and never that. You see me? Or something totally different from that. You see it? So, let me share the story to you. See? A firefighter has been taken into police custody in connection with the killing of his mother-in-law in Claremont, St. Anne. The deceased woman has been identified as Maxine of a Claremont address. Reports reaching our news team indicate that around 7 a.m. on Tuesday, Parkinson's daughter visited the Claremont Police Station and filed a missing person report. Police acting on information hours later took the son-in-law into custody. The firefighter, it is understood, took the police to a location and pointed out the elderly woman's body, which was in a state of decomposition. The woman's body reportedly had wounds all over the upper section and her right eye was missing. She was clad in black top. You know what I mean, people? Them said them find a flashlight at the scene. Them find phone charger. Them find slippers. Them search the van where them drive. Because them drive a voxy, them say. And them find blood stain on a cutlass. Them find blood stain, I think, on the AC vent. Them find blood stain, I think, in the trunk all about them find blood stain. I don't know where this money and his mother-in-law have, but them said them also find her skirt on one her leg. You see me? So it look like him R-A-P-E-R. You see it? We don't know. So as soon as I get an update on that, my people, I'm going to share it. We don't know. So make sure so you like and subscribe. Zin, so popcorn go court today. And them find him for four of the charges them. One of them I forgot badly thought. You know what I mean? Cause him not plead guilty to that. Right? So the four of them thing there, them them find him grand five each. So him have to go pay six grand. So me see him post up on him social media and I say, boy, somebody start a go fund me or something for help pay this. But at the end of the day, him lose the same way. You know why him lose? Because him have to go pay, pay a lawyer fee for deal with that you understand so him kind of lose same way although that they are monkey money to popcorn you see me i say but maybe him have bert samuels and a retainer you see me so that him now have to pay no big money to him for deal with this because enough business people them have liars and retainer you see it so that means so when them need the service of a liar them now have to go pay out this big guap to the lawyer for deal with that you know what i mean them pay like maybe monthly them pay a thing every month them pay the lawyer a thing so when them have anything for deal with you know like some simple thing not feel like fight no big case with them if them be find a fight a big case them have to go pay a different money you know what i mean but when them have them for retainer certain look misdemeanor thing them deal with it free for them not free because them pay a money every now and then to them is it so maybe you have Bert Samuel's parity and I still you know what I mean so let me know what you think in the comment section my people and we are gonna move on right so them say St. James vendor charged with murder detective assigned to the Montego Bay criminal investigation branch of charge cover and more a vendor of Endan in Norwood St. James with murder following the stabbing death of Marlon Williams of sign Irwin in the parish on Saturday. So that a Saturday we're gone. Zin. Reports are that about 2.30 a.m. Moore was at his stall when he was approached by Williams. An argument developed between them. During the clash, a knife was used to inflict stab wounds to Williams' chest and neck. Williams was assisted to hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. A raid on Monday, January. So that a today. No, sorry. Monday gone, right? led to Moore's arrest and subsequent charge following a question and answer session his court date is being finalized why people so me i say if you can't walk out walk away from an argument sometime you know clicking on your brain for walk away from an argument but 
try to keep it in the back of your brain. You know what I mean? Walk away from arguments. You know what I mean? Or try to de-escalate an argument. You know what I mean? And just leave it right there. So if you can walk away, not if you can, just walk away from an argument. Because that can prevent you from getting hurt or killed or an next person from getting hurt or killed. You know what I mean? So sometimes the argument thing in the work. Right? So people, general, look at you get caught up and drop out seen in a hundred lane. So I'm going to share that with Uno. Right? Police, every police military presence in hundred lane after police killing of teens. So I look at you get killed people. You know what I mean? There is a heavy police and military presence in the community of 100 Lane, uh, Fred Hills Road in St. Andrew following the shooting death of a teenager on Wednesday afternoon, allegedly by security forces. The deceased has been identified as Rashim Wilson. Jaja. Our news team understand that he was shot and killed at approximately 1.30 p.m. Police report that a firearm was recovered from the crime scene. Residents are, however, disputing the shooting as they allege the teen was murdered by law enforcers. Investigations are ongoing. So, people, when it come to them, something, you know, boy, sometimes you don't know what to say. Because some of them look youth yeah, and them young to, you know, them get led us three enough for the time you know people you know what i mean because them not really know them own danger enough for the time you see it and the adult them were in them community a more while them are lead the young youth them as three so who i go teach the young youth them the right way you know what i mean me can't really pre say a police i go look upon a little youth and just can him up like that unless this little youth here you know what I mean? Give him something for really have to defend himself. I don't think a police are going to just look upon a little youth like that and can him up. You see me? How cool can you be as a police officer for do such thing? So enough of them people, enough of the time when they come and protest on them something, they, them for stop it. You understand? If them know say this person, yeah, you know what I mean? A certain type of person. Don't back him in the ranks and make the police them look a type of way. I mean, I say the police, them in you know, people. Not have them ways, you know. And enough of them not corrupt and mess up, you know. But I find it me find it hard to believe, say, a young youth like this, a police I gotta just look on him and can him up so without nothing, you know what I mean? Like nothing at all, no trigger him off or him off to defend himself or whatever. You see me? So, I have a little video clip. I go make you see what I want. Jano, yeah, boy, people, we just have to say RIP to this youth, yeah. you know what I mean, and condolences to the family. And if the police them really can up this youth, yeah, in a cold blood, them way they, them forget the full length of the law. You see what I say? Because a young youth like that, you're going to look upon and just kill so. Come on, man. Uh, where the country I go to? Police, them can't trust in them. So, let me know what you think in the comment section, my people. So, an update on the woman and her brother who allegedly killed her husband. Seeing, remember, them all up on them and locked them up. So, them they on bail, you know, my people. You know what I mean? So, I just want to go with that look, a quick update there.